Last week we started to add some much needed flow to the jump line, throwing in another tabletop, a gap drop, and a couple of burns. This really made the line start to feel pretty dang good. Now this week, I want to start the second half of the trail, the intermediate section, or at least what I consider intermediate. Down here, we're going to build the first ever platform jump that I have ridden. That is once I ride it, because right now, this is where things stand. It's just a mind game. That's all that's happening right now. I have the ability to do this, and I just cannot convince myself to do it. I think this is the toughest thing that I've ever experienced in mountain biking so far. Ugh. We'll get back to this pathetic guy later. For now, let me show you the cool stuff. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. I decided to shape the landing first. I figured it would be a good starting point because it's the only area with a pretty decent slope naturally, and that way I knew exactly how much transition I was working with when I went to build my jump. Here I'm marking out the length of the platform. I decided it would be 20 foot by 5 foot, assuming this would leave plenty of room to jump onto it with ease and confidence. With everything marked out, I was able to dig and set out my support post pretty easily. But now I had to set up the platform base. I did this by leveling and setting my middle support post first. Then, temporarily tacking a board in at the height I wanted the platform to be at, I was able to level out the entire deck base by stemming from that one support post that I had already leveled out. With everything leveled out, I went ahead and screwed things in permanently. I plan to come back and use lag bolts on everything, but these 3 inch exterior screws will do for now. After securing the deck base, I added some cross beams for extra stability and connected them at the center with a block so it all held together nicely. And just like that, the structure for the drop is done. All you have left to do is to cut the support post flush with the top so then you can start laying down the decking. You know, the fun part, the thing that looks cool on camera. To keep the deck straight, I tacked in a nail on the first board and attached a string to it. Then I went to the last board and did the same, tightening down the string so that I would have a perfectly straight line to work with all the way down the deck. nice and straight. With the deck built and the landing ready, all I had left to do was to clear out some branches and build up the jump to get up onto the deck. But you see, it didn't really pan out the way I thought. I figured I would lay down this old bridge, do a test run of the drop part, and then take off the old bridge and jump up onto the deck and ride the whole thing and it would all be great. But, here's what happened on that test run that totally screwed up everything. Why did that just happen? <laughs> Don't worry, my body was completely fine. But the problem was, my mind had just created in this moment a wall about 100 foot high that said, Do not do the drop. I spent the next 24 hours with the most anxiety I have ever had in my life, knowing I had to do this drop, even though my mind just deemed it something to never, ever do again. You just jumped down to it.
That's right. I'm by myself arguing with myself. It's okay, though. You can laugh because after arguing with myself for maybe another 20 minutes or so, I finally did this. I did it. I fucking did it. I fucking did it. I fucking did it. It felt amazing. Oh my god. Wow. Next time, we'll remove the bridge and actually jump from the ground up onto the deck. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you at the next build. <laughs>